So here a square has a triangle inside of it with lengths 4, 3 and 5. What is the length of the square side? I got this problem from a student. Pause the video if you want to give this problem a try and when you are ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. For x, the length of the square side. First of all, notice that the triangle has lengths 3, 4, and 5, so it's a right angle triangle, as the three sides are Pythagorean triplet. So the angle between the sides 3 and 4 will be a right angle and measures 90 degree. Now focus on these two triangles. We are going to show that these two triangles are similar, but how can we do that? We are going to show that they have exactly the same angles. To get started, let's assume this angle arch A degrees. Here we have a right angle because it's a square. Therefore the remaining angle in the square will be 90 minus A. Now let's calculate this angle. What we do is 180 minus sum of these two angles that is minus 90 minus 90 minus a by simplifying this we can get this angle is a degrees now we have a right angle here at this corner of the square so final angle in this triangle will be 90 minus a so here this is a and this is 90 minus a we can see that the corresponding angles of these two triangles are equal. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. But how does that help us solve the problem? Let's assume the shorter side of this triangle as y. Since the entire side of the square is x, so this distance will be x minus y. Now we use the property that these two triangles are similar. Therefore, their ratio of their base to hypotenuse will be equal. So x minus y by 3 must be equal to x divided by 4. Here we simplify for y. So by cross multiplying we can get 4 whole x minus y equal to 3x. If we simplify for y, we can get y equal to x divided by 4. Now we will substitute that into our diagram here and here this length will be x. Now we can solve for x cause we have a right angle triangle and we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem. So x square plus x by 4 whole square is equal to 4 square. Now by simplifying this we can get 17 x square divided by 16 is equal to 16. So if we solve for a positive x, we can get x equal to 16 divided by root over of 17. And that's the answer. It's a fun little geometry problem and I hope you enjoyed it too. So thanks for watching and thanks for your support.